what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hey guys, hope everybody's staying safe and healthy during this COVID-19 pandemic, if that's what you want to call it. But, uh, so I've been keeping busy tonight. I'm going shooting tomorrow. I'm taking out my AK, and I wanted to make this video because it's been long coming for me to have a final review on my Riley Defense RAK-47 Classic. I've got over a thousand rounds through it, probably closer to 1,500. And I just wanted to go ahead and do a review on it. I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to get some footage shooting tomorrow. But another video I wanted to make, this is just kind of an update video telling you guys what's coming in the next few days and whatnot, is I'm going to be testing out different types of ammo in Magpul and Tapco magazines because I've heard a lot of bad things about Riley Defense and I kind of want to clear some of those misconceptions up because this gun, in my opinion, is a great entry-level AK, and I haven't had any issues with it. So for starters, let's show you the ammo that we're going to be testing out tomorrow. So since this whole coronavirus has started, I'm sure all of you know, the price of ammo has gone considerably up, and that's if you can even find what you need. Now one thing I've noticed is I haven't had any issues finding any 7.62x39. I just bought this 100 round box from Cabela's, $25, and that's steel cased 122 grain full metal jacket. I also found this Silver Bear, I found this, uh, where did I get that, oh I got it at a pawn shop in Everett, Washington, Pawn Fathers, and I believe they were selling that for $5.99 for a pack of 20. Now this is pretty much the same except it's 123 grain bimetal full metal jacket which means it's steel zinc plated case. And it's just one grain more than the toll ammo. I, so I've never shot this so I'm curious to see how it works tomorrow. And then I'd never heard of this either Barnalls. Now these are all made in Russia obviously. Barnalls, I got this for I think eight dollars for twenty of them, and this is seven sixty by thirty nine full metal jacket, one hundred and twenty three grain, and it's also steel, obviously, but it's lacquer coated, which is kind of cool. It's got that green tint to it. I don't know if you can tell. That might make it a little easier to tell. It's got that green tint to it. And then here's the zinc, the zinc plated bullet. It's almost got like a silver kind of chromed look to it. 
And then this is what just the regular toll ammo, regular steel bullet looks like, just gray stock metal color. So we'll be testing out those three different kinds of ammo in Magpul mags and in Tapco mags, which this Riley Defense RAK-47 Classic came with a Tapco mag. And I personally haven't had any issues with either of them, so nothing like the horror stories I read after I purchased the Riley Defense. Even though I did a considerable amount of research when I bought it, I heard a lot of bad things afterwards. I'm not sure how I didn't stumble upon those when I was researching it to buy it, but since then, and I'll go over this further when I review it, all that's been changed. They, and yeah, we'll just save that for the next video. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's going on. I'll have multiple videos coming out. I just finished filming a video about a gun case that I bought, and I'm going shooting tomorrow morning, so yeah. Stay safe, stay healthy, don't get the coronavirus, and don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel, and have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.